Ryan with Mr. Geek here, and uh, in this video, just a quick um, video. I rebuilt the, the filter, and I actually <laughs> I, let me show you my mess over here. Um, I actually uh, marked all of the <laughs> crystals, had them all in this paper, and then um, come back over here, and then picked out a bunch of. Well, I've got a quantity of eight of one. Um, most of them are four, five, or six. Uh, individual matching crystals and these are the leftovers here out of 100 or 95 or whatever so these four uh, these are 47 pf uh, picofarad um, capacitors and I do have four to one transformers now I uh, wound twisted up some wire in my drill and wound a few just to have them for spares I will be needing them and here's the filter and so um, it goes from, oops, let's see here, 11, so uh, 6,000 hertz down to 57,500. So that's uh, 2,500 hertz. So 2.5 kilohertz uh, bandwidth on this filter. The ripple, let's see, we're at minus 407. Up here, we're at minus two. So about a two dB ripple, uh, roughly, uh, which doesn't seem too bad to me. But I'm curious what your thoughts are on, on this filter. Would you use it in a radio? Would you use it in your PSSST your 20, which is what I'm building it for? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I sure appreciate your input. And uh, um, I'm also still thinking about doing the... Uh, uh, eight pole filter just to just to test it. So let me know what you think. All right. We'll see you later 73